Hey guys, it's Nat from Nat's Numbers. It's been so long since I've done a video and I thought this would be the perfect day to do it. Today is April 13th, 2016. So there's the double 13 dynamic going on today. The 13 day, but we're in a 13 universal month. So I'm going to put a link below. I did a blog uh, on numerologist.com on the power of the number 13. I want to though tell you how this number might show up for you and how to overcome it. I've had two experiences so far this month, one happening just this morning that gave me a lot of perspective that I'm hoping might help. So this morning I drove my daughter and her friend to the gym. They come with me once or twice a week before school. And usually when I'm done and they're waiting in the lobby, they're chatting, they're laughing, but this time, <laughs> like, the friction was felt in the room, they were in a fight. And so the whole drive to school, they were, for the first time ever in their friendship, and they've been friends for about two years, they were just fuming at each other. And I tried to see if they wanted to resolve it, and they didn't. So my daughter later texts me, and she tells me how she's feeling and what happened. And it was a small little thing. And so oftentimes the 13 will bring up small little things that trigger a deep emotional reaction. And I went back in memory to April 1st, right when we entered this month, and I had a similar experience as her. Now, ironically, it was with her. So we were having dinner with a family member, and she sort of threw this passive-aggressive comment over my way. And I noticed that under the four, under this archetype of, of the Olympian of obstacles, there's, for me, a series of stages that I go through when I meet up with an obstacle. So when I felt this insult, First, I felt hurt, but that was only a moment. And then I go right into anger and rage. And I go into all of the ways that I'm going to punish her the moment that this person leaves the house. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with disciplining your child and, and having consequences. But in my mind, I go to the extremes. I'm like, she is going to have no electronics for three months. She's going to be doing chores when she gets home every night from school. I just go to the extreme. So I go into this sort of vengeful kind of anger. And then I actually notice myself going into victimhood, uh, re resignation. So it's like meeting up with an obstacle and then, you know, beating your fists against it, bloodying your, your fingers, and then just slumping down and giving up. And I observed myself going through this. And then I remembered, wow, we just entered a 13. What's the solution when you meet up with an obstacle? I get up, I go do dishes, right over there, <laughs> and I repeat to myself in my head, I'm willing to approach this in a new way. I'm willing to approach this in a new way. And I just repeat that over and over again because one of the magical resolutions for the 13, one of the things that is so supernatural about it is that the obstacle is actually asking you to become that bigger and better version of yourself that you wanted to become before you stepped into it. So it's basically asking you to raise your standards. So I go about the night and I'm actually able to enjoy the night and let go of this. Whereas before I would have been like, I would have been like, we are figuring this out. Like the party stops until this is figured out. But I was able to let go and to just say, all right, until I get inspired to take action in a new way, I'm gonna let it go. Later that night, um, my daughter and I had a conversation and it started out with me saying, <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> I mean, I said it like that. It was not very spiritual or evolved. Um, and I met, up, I met up with a lot of resist resistance from her and every single moment that she resisted and said, there's nothing wrong, forget about it. Every time she threw this sort of wave of this, this block in connection, I had a choice to say, I'm willing to approach this in a new way. What would my new self, the self that's overcome this obstacle, who might she be? And so we had a beautiful conversation that was catalyzed by me instead of reacting, instead of getting angry, instead of 
um, getting frustrated that I just took deep breaths and I softened myself. I softened myself. So my point of bringing up this story is that today my daughter having this experience with a friend, you know, she texted me from school talking about how she was feeling and I texted her back and said, I completely understand, you know, sort of went through validating how she must be feeling. But then who... Who must you become to approach this in a way that you've never approached it before? How might that look? And that's really what I want to say to you guys, because whether it's a conflict that you're having, maybe your computer broke down, it's some sort of obstacle where things aren't running smoothly, maybe it's just a thought or a belief that you've acquired or absorbed from elsewhere that doesn't feel good, that all you need to do is ask yourself, how can I approach this in a new way? And here's the crazy thing about the 13 that's so supernatural. Through these small steps, through these small actions that you take, you produce the most powerful and extravagant results. And that's the supernatural aspect. You don't have to take big leaps. You don't have to go out and change your whole being. If you just take this one small problem that you're facing and you approach it in a new way, the 13 will magnify it and will literally transform and re-sculpt the very nature of who you are. So you'll look back on these moments and it'll be an anchor where you'll, real, you'll realize that you're truly capable of being that bigger and better version of you. It's powerful. So in that moment, and I love this, I mean, I don't like it in the beginning, but when I show up in a new way, God, there's like this incredible feeling of self-trust and of confidence. And there's a feeling of being expanded. It's that I just met up with an obstacle that at first scared me. It hurt me. But to be able to come out the other end, knowing that I approached it from this like deep, core, authentic self, Oh, it's the most thrilling thing that you could experience. And it adds down to the four because what it does is it strengthens you and it empowers you. All right, guys, I hope that that helped. Comment below and let me know how this month is going for you so far. Can't wait to read it.